del cammin di nostra vita mi ritrovai per una selva oscura che la diritta via era smarrita. Siamo nel 1300, Dante ha 35 anni. La strada gli viene chiusa da queste tre belve feroci. La lonza, il leone, la lupa. At that point Dante realizes that it's his hero, the great poet Virgil, that a beautiful woman appeared. And Dante's life is about to come to an end. Beatrice sees this in an agony and pain for him. She gets permission and descends from heaven to seek Virgil. I son fatta da Dio, sua merce, tale che la vostra miseria non mi tange, né fiamma desto incendio, non massa. Ora ha bisogno il tuo fedele di te, e io a te lo raccomando. Questo è l'arrivo di Virgilio. È un ritrovamento meraviglioso, Dante ritrova il suo maestro. The nine circles of hell. Dante and Virgil descend to the second circle. As you can see, love led us to one death. Francesca, your torment makes me weep with grief and pity. And I fell down as a dead body falls. The fifth circle is the river Styx. It contains two types of sinners. There are the wrathful and the sullen. And there's a great huge wall in front of them. And this wall is actually the ring that separates lower hell from upper hell. They look and see three spirits feminine. Da capelli di serpenti. Sono Aletto, Tisifone e Medera, le tre fumi. Medusa turned her into this woman that had snakes for hair. The branch, a human voice cries out, why are you hurting me? Why are you torturing me like this? And blood shoots out of this branch. Throughout the ages, it has always embodied man's ability to create. And he's conscious that he was alive, and he's conscious that he was defiant then and I'm defiant now. His face was the face of an honest man. It had a benign aspect, but all the rest of it was serpent. Fuori peccatori che usarono la malizia, ma questa volta in modo fraudolento contro chi non si gira. I peccatori si trovano in un fosso molto profondo. So Dante and Virgil are trucking along and they get to the eighth circle of hell and they come to this region where there are these deep ditches or trenches in the earth. And uh, he looks down and he sees in these horrible places that there's crowds and crowds of sinners that are shuffling along. One group of them is going one way, the other group's going the other way. As they go deeper and deeper, the rocks begin to be covered with this mold, this slime, this mist is in the air. And now there's this foul stench. And as they go deeper, they can see that they're heading into what's called Bolgia. There are actually souls immersed in this excrement, in this foul stench of stew, writhing, grinding, wishing they weren't there, but they can do nothing about it. You crap out of their mouth constantly when they talk. They will tell you flattering things, but they mean nothing of what they say. They're just saying things to make themselves feel better and to give you a little bit of feeling of self-esteem also. I dannati che sono condannati da simonia sono conficcati dentro una sorta di tubo con i piedi in alto e la testa in basso. Una pena particolarmente severa perché è riservata per gli ecclesiastici che hanno usato malamente della loro autorità per fare dei guadagni impropri. Sinners run naked with their hands bound by serpents that ride themselves through their loins. Strikes a man standing on the bank near the neck and, and the man bursts into flames and it soon begins to consume him, melding his body as the other two thieves watch and mock him with amusement. The bodies merge into something new and grotesque. Dante explains this part of hell as being the sowers of discord and scandal. Scandal in the church and 
politics in uh, between kinsmen and the sinners are forced to walk the circle and at the beginning of the circle they are met by a devil who cuts them viciously he deserves to be beheaded and as all of the people in the sours of discord and the ninth chasm they seem to have parts of their body dismembered from their their soul as well as their larger part of the body for the crimes they've done. Persons, coins, and words. It is a huge hospital-like full of people with all kinds of deformities. The sinners are filled with pain and diseases. Diseases like leprosy, rabies, and dropsy, which is now known as edema, where the body swells with excess water. Here, we find the falsifiers. The alchemists, the impersonators, counterfeiters, and liars. Dante believes he is seeing immense towers in the distance. However, Virgil tells Dante that his eyes are deceiving him. What he is really seeing are giants. Giants that are plugged up to their waist on the edge around the ninth circle. In Antonora, the second zone is reserved for those who betray their country or their kin. Here, the victims are all frozen up to their neck in the frozen lakes of hell, forever in Cape. We now come to the fourth zone of the Ninth Circle. Dante and Virgil enter, and in the distance, they see a shrouded figure in the fog. As they make their way toward it, beneath them, they notice sinners, totally encased in the ice, some of them several feet deep, contorted, twisted in various positions. They make their way closer to the shrouded figure, and when they get there, they notice it's Lucifer. Emerging from a frozen lake, and they see he has three heads. 